Hi, hope you're doing good. So today I'm going book shopping. Plan is to go to a small owned bookstore. Then we're gonna go to the works because we have some money to spend on my card. I'm going with my sister, by the way. And then we're gonna go hit a bunch of charity shops and try and find some like good books in them. So I'm really excited. You gotta make yourself happy somehow. Let's go. I basically have an entire bag full of books. So I accidentally have two of these. The plan that happened, okay, so I found this. It's a very battered copy of it. And this was two pounds, okay. And then we ended up going to about 10 other different charity shops. Like literally in every single one of them, there was another one of these and another one of these and another one of these. And they were all like pristine paperbacks, blah, blah, blah. I was like, are you kidding me? And then I find this amazing hardback edition of it. And I was just like, I can't not get this. It looks like this. Like the spine looks like this. I just think that's so cool. So I had to get this. And basically the plan is just to give this to a charity shop because this was two quid and this was only one quid. So I was like, okay, I would like so spend three quid on this. So in my head, this is three quid and this is nothing. And I can just give that back to a charity shop. My sister read the book and also watched the series and she said it was amazing. Basically about a 1960s, I think, single mum who used to be a scientist, but now she's like really famous on this cooking show where she basically cooks like like very sciencey and much sure that's what it's about but that sounds so cool and i love like historical fiction but the ones that are set in like 20th century i think they can be very very entertaining especially in like 50s 60s 70s those eras just hit so different next up i found one day in december by jc silver for two pounds this cover is a lot different to what i saw during christmas time because it's a blue cover for christmas and it basically sounds like one day you know like the book but i like the tv show now obviously this girl is on a bus okay and she ends up seeing just outside the window this really hot stunning guy she's like oh my god this man fell up my life she's like wow but then the bus drives away and she never sees him again until a year later when she ends up going with her friend's house i think for a christmas party a year to that day i think her best friend introduces her to the love of her life at the moment and it is that man which first of all how does she even remember who what he looks like but i guess if you meet someone stunning maybe it could stick with you but i think i wouldn't be able to remember a random hot man that i've just met like randomly do you know what i mean so i'm not sure determined to let him go laurie gets on with her life but what if fate has other plans like that's so drama filled it sounds like it's gonna be a really eventful book for christmas time so i'm very excited for this next up i have a few thrill thrillers i got some very popular ones i think which i'm very excited for i've got behind closed doors by ba paris which i feel like everyone was reading at one point okay this actually sounds so good okay i'm gonna read it to you because like the way that it's set up is like really cool okay everyone knows a couple like jack and grace he has looks and wealth she has charm and elegance you might not want to like them but you do you'd like to get to know grace better but it's difficult because you realize they are never apart some might call this true love others might ask why grace never answers the phone or can't meet for lunch without jack or why there are bars on one of the bedroom windows sometimes the perfect marriage is is the perfect lie like that sounds so cool that sounds so cool then i've got the woman in cabin 10 by ruth ware i've read from ruth ware before i really liked one by one this one is basically set on a cruise ship going through norway and okay so basically apparently what happens is i think she's a journalist i don't know 
what she's researching or writing about but she's staying on this cruise one night she's woken up by screaming so she goes outside the balcony to have a little look around all of a sudden she sees this body thrown over the balcony and she's like oh my god like what just happened this basically came from her neighbor and then she finds out that no one's been staying there it hasn't been booked so it's an empty place you know who threw who over you know what happened and so she's like okay i was probably just imagining it because i've been so stressed and so it's either that or she's basically on this holiday cruise ship with a murderer i like the cover but my sister has a hardback edition of it and the hardback is so cool when you take the sleeve off it's covered in like water droplets then the last savage by megan miranda i swear i think books and all brothers for summer Ween last year but i don't want to say that and it didn't actually happen i'm very excited to read this i've heard a lot of good things about megan miranda there's been a couple books on her list that i've actually put on there for summer Ween before but now i've finally got one like physically which is really exciting okay so apparently there's this like massive hike is it called the appalachian trail and basically right next to appalachian trail there is a very small town this small town has basically had we experienced a whole bunch of travelers or people going on this trail and then going missing this one woman i think she's moved to this town to go stay there she realizes about all these like disappearances and then realize how closely knit this town is and how hide lots of secrets i don't know if it's me a thriller or a horror but basically people go missing i think she's gonna try and figure out how and why they go missing then lastly something that i'm actually really proud of because i managed to grab it uh before my sister did I feel really bad because she read this ages ago and she loved it. I saw it first, so I got it and I feel bad, but like she recommended it to me so much and I love him. He's the hottest man online, like alive. I basically have Green Lights by Matthew McConaughey. This is basically his memoir where it goes to like everything he's done. It's gone through Interstellar. It's all really effortless in here. Like it's really like cool. It's like mixed media sort of vibe. Like it's like a this. It's got photos in. It's so effortless and cool. I'm just obsessed. And obviously the audiobook has his hot voice in it. So you listen to that it goes through a couple movies that he's done i think just his life and obviously he's like so insanely talented and so interesting that i'm just i'm so excited to see it it's got like photos of him when he was younger oh it's so cool and look how hot he is there why would someone ever give this away I bet it was a man that gave it away because they wouldn't understand just keep it there. This is so cool. That's what it looks like. It's only like gonna be the prettiest book that I own, I think. Hey, Raz. My little beastie. You sound like a motorbike. A fluffy little motorbike. Hi, Sammy. I've caught a motorbike. Yes, I have. My little slut. Sammy, Sammy, Sammy. Get your poo hole off the camera. But then we went to the works. I ended up getting Wild Love by Elsie Silver and I have heard some. What's happening? You gonna look down my butt? Yeah, I've heard some amazing things about this. This apparently is a best friend's brother. It's your brother's best friend. I think it's your brother's best friend. I've heard some really good quotes. I don't wanna know anything else. So I'm sorry, I can't really explain it because I don't know. Don't you dare jump up there, you little slut. So I don't really know. I don't really know anything about it. So I can't really help. I can't really explain it to you. But I do know that it's got some really cute scenes in it, like some quotes that I've heard. And it also has. Um, that was cute. What are you staring at? And it's also both best friend, which I love. However, I read from Elsie Silver before. This was like a crazy buy for me because I don't like usually buy new books. I'm not 100% sure that I'm going to like because I've read from her before. I read like that horse series that she did. I read it and I DNF'd it straight away. Like the first one, I couldn't read it. And then my sister tried to read the Flawless series and she didn't like that, I don't think. So now I'm stressed. Fingers crossed I'll like it. If not, I'll just give it to someone else who does want it. Get down from there. Not slug. And then, last but not least, I have this entire series. I don't think this is in order right now, but I've got these guys. I'm so excited. These are everywhere. Everyone keeps recommending them. Same with Magnolia Parks. And these are just Magnolia Parks, and these guys are just two massive series that I need to get to this summer. Um, so I can finally be on like the whole bandwagon sort of vibe. All I know that I think it's Irish rugby players, and I, my sister just told me all she said was that 13 and 6 are their rugby shirts and their Irish. And I was like, okay, say no more. I'm gonna buy it and so i bought it i'm gonna read it this summer and i'm very excited to do that that is all the books that i got it's actually a lot anyways in case you're interested i did do some like other non-bookish shopping i love like cutesy little like drugstore bits so if you're interested in that i have like a whole bunch of stuff that i got um i love seeing what people buy like skincare wise and beauty wise it makes me so happy anyway so i bought some new um powder because i'm an oily girl like like you can see it now like it's horrible i get my granddad i always tell everyone i meet that my granddad's twin because it's like i'm oily oily as her I'm like and he's like well don't you worry when you're old you're gonna have no wrinkles and i'm like oh you just don't want to be oily anyways so i got some translucent translucent powder just so i can bake 
and put it on do you know what i mean i need some more of that because mine broke then i got some revolution in real life filter foundation so i used to have that other one that's like a stick you like do like that and you put it on your face and it's meant to be a tart shape and tape dupe okay so i got that like ages ago and i'm constantly buying that forever it's all my concealers are that all my foundation sticks are that but then i was looking online and i wanted to get some new foundation because i went on holiday and i'm tanned and i have foundation on right now i've got concealer and it does kind of suit my body but like for the summer obviously i'm going be getting more tanned and f7 is usually the tan most tan that i get so i need a new tanned one i looked on amazon to try and get the what do you call it the f7 of like the stick one that you go like that a lot of stick it's like a lip gloss you know <laughs> like that you got that anyways basically i tried to find that and i couldn't um because it was obviously just sold out so i found this and then apparently this is a lot stronger so it's all free 16 hour wear and it's like an in life in real life filter so it's a long wear foundation whereas the other one is like kind of in the middle so i was like okay that's perfect because i need long wear foundation things that are going to stay on the entire time because obviously i'm oily so it falls off my face unless like i properly set it with powder but even then sometimes it just falls off my face so it's really difficult so i got this because i thought i'd be a little bit like, i haven't tried it so i don't know but i'm excited to try it and see how i go it might be a bit difficult now trying it because i'm not this color but sometimes what i do is like i've been using f5 the entire time like through winter and i'm not an f5 skin color like i can go quite light in the winter so literally all i do is i do f5 everywhere and then use really light concealer to like lighten everything up and that usually works so i'm doing that so i've got this i needed a new face wash so how i kind of do things is i'll have really nice fancy products that cost a lot make me feel cute and actually work and like just make me happy and it's nice okay so those ones i'll use as little as possible as basically not as often basically because it's expensive and it works but i don't want to like like waste it i don't know if that's a really weird idea but basically like for instance i use my pixie glow exfoliating scrubby thing right so i do that and i do that every morning but i would never use that like throughout the day or after my makeup or in the evenings because then that's wasting it in my eyes so what i usually use is just like a really simple or just just a face wash just a cheap drugstore face wash to basically use throughout the day if i feel really oily i honestly use it after i cook dinner because my face is like in the steam getting like curry or chili con carne or spag bowl or something on my face right so i usually wash my face afterwards i'm not gonna waste it on a really nice one so I just use a, a normal one. So now I just decided just to buy a random one. I just saw this and I was like, okay, I'm going to get it. So... Thank you, Simi, for your button in my phone. So I decided to get this. It just looks very simple. It doesn't look like it's going to do that much harm. It's just like just to wash my face. So stop, don't you dare start fighting, you little shit. He just bit Sim's bum. So this is Nivea Derma Skin Care. It's a wash gel. It's got salicy salicylic acid and I can't pronounce it, but that's meant to be good. It's meant to deeply cleanse and purify pores and effectively fights blemishes. And then a really fun thing that I got was I wanted, I've just been seeing a whole bunch of people, Um, how they take off their makeup is they'll use one of these things which is like a cleansing balm so this is the elf one i've been seeing people use like lms and i was like oh my god imagine but like that's way too expensive so i just got this one actually i didn't even check is lms expensive in my eyes it's always just seemed like a really fancy brand but like imagine it's not i could have just got it oh well we're trying this for now it's like this little elf thing it looks so cute and it's so cool it comes with like a little spoon oh cute that so it comes with like a little spoon so you scoop it up and it looks like this inside then i got some shorts from prime because i needed some new shorts i honestly stand by primark for jumpers sorry about my cats meowing in the background by the way i stand by primark i stand by primark for shorts and jeans they're literally the best for jeans and shorts they always feel me so good and i really struggle with that with a lot of other places because it's like i have a tiny waist when it comes to like my waist area like it's quite small it's smaller than my bum on my hips so like it's really a struggle to find something that fits my bum isn't tight on my thighs and my bum but also isn't baggy on my waist and the primark shorts do that amazing for me same with their jeans like my favorite jeans are from that so i really love these i got a blue one like kind of stress which i'm really excited for because i need just some new shorts for summer and then i got um some white ones just some plain white ones because obviously like we all need some white shorts in the summer so we're cute so yeah that's everything i really hope that you've enjoyed please let me know which one of the books you want me to read first thank you so much for watching i really hope that you've enjoyed and i will see you very very soon Bye bye